The techniques demonstrated within this program are designed for people of all skill levels. Consult your physician before beginning any new exercise program. I'm Chad Love and welcome to Ready, Set, Move, the awesome exercise show that teaches you moves that you can do any place, any time. I'm thrilled you're with us today. Get up off of that comfy couch and we're going to dance today. So let's get Ready, Set, Move. I'm Gina De Vaca and I'm the founder and director of Cabeza De Vaca Cultural Center here in Santa Monica. Valley Folklorico has always been here in Santa Monica. Mentally, physically, and spiritually, it keeps me healthy, and it keeps my family healthy, and it keeps my community healthy. If you're in Santa Monica, know that Folklorico has always been here. It's our culture, it's Santa Monica culture, and it's a wonderful form of dance, and it's a wonderful form, fun form of exercise. We're thrilled to be joined by Gina DeBaca of Cavesa DeBaca Cultural Center. Gina, tell us what we're doing today. So today we're doing Aztec dance, and in our Aztec dance and drum classes, hence drum, we have a drum also going. So it's live music when we have our dance classes. So then there's a lot of history to this, right? This, th these go back many, many years. Yes, thousands of years. This is an ancient form of dance. It's been around. So it's, you know, it's very cultural for us, but it's also very spiritual for us. And uh, culturally, like, it, it's, it's neat because it's been handed down for generations. Yes. And it's something that, you know, gr grandparents and parents and their kids, like, it's all shared, right? Yes, yes. Something that's been handed down through the generations. It's literally a kinetic prayer. Very, very cool. And I did. I also wanted to ask you kind of about, I mean, this is an exercise show. Uh, dance can be exercise. A lot of people that do this kind of dance are in great shape. Can you yes. talk a little bit about the dance's fitness? Dance of any form is fitness. It's a workout. It's exercise. You will sweat. And we literally, in dance class, we have all ages. We have toddlers. We have dancers in their 80s. And again, dance is for both men and women it's for both so again both men and women all ages and you will get a workout and i hear all the time oh i have two left feet oh i can't dance yes you can you're a human being you can dance very cool so those of you watching at home get on up and let's join us for this we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get into it we've yes. got a drum that we're gonna we're gonna meet yes and we've got a lot of different things that we're gonna cover we have these incredible headdresses yes um i do want to cover a little bit about the history the, the, the aztec history that plays into this yes so the aztec nation has been here they were here already um, and also California, the southern United States was part of the Aztec nation as well. People seem to think that the Aztec nation was in Mexico. It was in northern Mexico, but also southern United States as well. So it's, they've been here all along. The descendants were still here. <laughs> so, and dance again, it's, this is our way of carrying on our traditions, our culture, and our prayers. So it is a spiritual you know, it's a spiritual form of exercise, literally. Absolutely, and we're surrounded by these incredible headdresses. I hope you can see them at home. Can you tell us a little bit about how they're made, what they mean? So the headdresses are, you can imagine, are very heavy. So they're made out of leather, usually, the head, you know, the actual piece that's on your head, and then you have an abundance of feathers on them. The, fe the headpiece itself is, you know, sometimes a little weighty, but then you add all these beautiful feathers and it's really a lot of weight on there. So if you're not working out that n those neck muscles, your core muscles, if you're not strong, that's going to, you know, give you a neck ache maybe. <laughs> so it's very important to be, you know, doing your exercises, doing the dance classes 
and then your head and your neck is able to carry the weight of these beautiful feathers of these beautiful headpieces. So they're beautiful and they they enhance the workout. They mean oh, that, yes. that the whole thing gets going. Yes. So you guys who are saying, oh, I'm not going to do dance. I'm, I'm a man. I'm not going to do dance. You should you should come and check this out because it's a really great way to get a workout. Oh, and it's yes. social. And they're beautiful women, it yes. seems like. Yes. And the men have very masculine um, headpieces and attire. So yes, there is places, a place for the men. <laughs> and, and it's open to everybody. It's open to everyone. I get that question, you know, occasionally, but it is open to everyone. We want everybody to come and learn. We want to share our beautiful culture. We want to share this ancient tradition. I mean, it, it seems like it's a, an intergenerational and, uh, you know, just all sorts of different people, you know, melting pot at this point of all sorts of people doing it. It is. It literally, it becomes a dance family because you're, dancing with these people three times a week. You know, we have dance classes three times a week. So you're dancing with the same people three times a week. You do become a family and we do have outings together. It, you just become close. It, it just, it's just like when you go to work, you know, five days a week with the same people. That's super cool. And I, I, I gather that there's a spiritual aspect to all of this too. Oh yes, it's literally, it's, it's ceremony. So when we're dancing, it is ceremony. Very, and, very But cool. you're pouring sweat, so it definitely is exercise as well. Uh, and you told me that um, uh, that, uh, that that we have a drum yes. that, that we're going to join. And I, let's, let's yes. see it. I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> but so the drum, we always want to approach the drum with respect because you have to remember this was a live animal at one time. This is the skin. So we always want to, sh you know, show respect for the drum. We want to ask the drummer, you know, always if we want to touch it we always want to ask the drummer if we can in fact touch a drum and they'll let us know if it's okay it carries a lot of energy because the drummer is the one you know putting their energy their their soul into this you know they're the one giving us the music from the drum and an animal you know it's sacrificed itself and so we want to show respect for the drum always and the drum is the drum is going to be played it's the music for our dance right yes yes it is so always a live drum when we do Aztec dance. Very cool. So those of you that are worried about your rhythm, there is a wonderful drum going that will help you. So don't let that stop you. Okay. Well, let's let let's do the dance if if you all yes. are ready. Are we, are we everybody ready? Yes. Okay. Let's go.
So, uh, Gina, this is awesome. Thank you. Uh, you know, our, our viewers at home want to do a little of this. So can you take me through one of the dances a little bit? Sure. So um, very basic steps in Fedmiso. Um, so first off, always, any dance form, you always want to check your posture. So shoulders up, back down, suck in, oh, yeah, tuck yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knees need to be bent. Otherwise, you're going to injure your back. Okay, guys at home, let's get up off the couch. Let's do this. Join us. So with Aztec, you're going to have your rattle. So that keeps your rhythm. So you saw them doing permiso? Yep. Okay. So they were just going one, two, three. One, two, three. It's a basic step. Yep. One, one two, two, three. three. Okay. Let's go ahead and add. We're going to go out. Out. Okay. Over. Over. Back. Back. Back over here, and we're going to do the one, two, three again. One, two, two three. three. Keep doing it, guys. If I can do Out, it, you can do it. Over, back, back, back in place. One, two, three. Simple steps. You want to go ahead and add a turn in there? Yes, let's, let's add a go turn. Ahead. I'm ready to add a turn. Okay, so we're not turning to our right. We're just giving ourselves that momentum. Let's turn. Turn to your left. Okay. And bringing your hand up to the sky. Because remember, even though this is exercise, it's a workout. It's kinetic prayer. It's literally a prayer. So you are bringing that hand up. Let's go ahead and turn, bringing your hand up again. Okay. And then you saw at the end of the dance where they were coming in. So that's where you're going. You have your rattle, and it's keeping rhythm. And now you're going to go in. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now oh, let's come in awesome. again. Do your spin. And you're going to come down. There we go. Okay. So listen, thank you so much, Gina. Thank you guys for watching. And whatever you do, keep moving, keep grooving, and ready, set, move.